Hello there guys, welcome to episode 9 of how to program in C++. Today we're gonna be going over that comma operator, finally. But also, I want to talk a little bit more about the assignment operator, just add a couple of things in. So, let's make ourselves a variable. Uh, I'm gonna call it value1, because that's what we've been doing up until now. And I'm just gonna leave it without a value for now. And I'm gonna add a C out, which will print out value one, and put value one into it. Okay, so let's give value one a number, a value, sorry. Uh, so when using the assignment operator, which is the one we've been using all this time, the equal sign, you can just set uh, value one equal to this expression or uh, constant in this case and run it and yes indeed it sets it to the value three but what if you want to perform multiple expressions in one single statement uh well you can do this so let's make another value two um by using brackets you can now set two values at once so for example if if we want to set value one to three plus value 2, but we also want to give value 2 a value in the same line, you can do this using this, this kind of bracket setup. So, let's set value 2, use the assignment operator and set value 2 to something like 7. And let's actually output value 2 as well, just so we can see what's happening. So, here we go, value 2, and build and run. I should have put a line break in there, that would have been smart. Let me just do that now so you can read this properly. Excellent. So, what this has done is kind of gone in... It, it does whatever is in brackets first, and it will do the, the most deeply nested brackets first and work its way back. So in this case, there's only one set of brackets. So. Uh, it will perform this first, and then it will set 3 equal to the outcome of this, which in this case, we've set value 2 equal to 7. Now, if we get the program back up, value 2 comes out as 7. That has worked cor correctly. But we've also then set value 1 equal to 3 plus the value of this, out the outcome of this, which in this case is 7. So value 1 ends up equaling 10. So that's kind of like a, a kind of way of putting more than one uh, assignment operator in a single statement. Uh, of course, you can do this over many uh, depth of brackets. Like you can uh, go very deep with this, is what I'm trying to say. So we could set value two equal to two minus, and then set value three equal to one. And then it would execute all those statements in the order that I spe specified. Sorry, cannot talk this morning apparently. Um, which means it will uh, go from the most deeply nested brackets, which in this case is this set. It will calculate that. It will set do perform this uh, expression. It will then perform this expression, including the outcome of this expression, and then it will finally do the overall expression or statement which will use these two expressions. Great! Okay, let's just demonstrate finally for sure this does indeed work. Yes. So, as you can see, it has set value 3 to equal to 1, which it is. It has set value 2 equal to value... Uh, I mean, 2 minus the outcome of this, which the outcome of this was 1, so it's 2 minus 1, which is 1. And then finally, it is set value 1 equal to 3 plus the outcome of this, which was 1, and it has come out as 4. Fantastic. Okay, that's all I wanted to really go over with the assignment operator. Let's move on to the comma operator. So the comma operator operates in a very similar way to what we've just been doing with the assignment operator in brackets. Um, the main use for it is to allow you to execute multiple expressions uh, where you're specifically only meant to receive one. So, let's kind of put the, make an example of that. We're going to convert this statement into another one just 
basically the same statement but using the comma operator. So, first things first, we're setting value 1 equal to something. And then let's open up and close our brackets just so we have them closed already for future use. And let's put in our first expression, which um, the first one here, the first one to execute here is value three equals one. So we'll actually put this one first this time because this will order, this will execute in the order that you input it. So we've said value one, three equal to one. Now we're gonna set a value two equal to 2 minus value 3 and put in another comma and finally we're going to set val well value 1 is equal to uh, value 3 uh, sorry value 2 this is hard to read at this point well it's more like 3 plus value 2 is the order that we put it in originally so let's execute this and I'm gonna comment out this remembering that comments just makes you com the compiler completely ignore this line so we don't have to worry about that now let's try running this line see if it gives us the same output and it does it's exactly the same um, notice on the last one I'm not assigning any uh, value one to this because the overall expression here is all to assign value one to the outcome of this expression so that's kind of a very brief overview of that, I guess. There's not much else to talk about the comma operator. It's very simple uh, as far as this goes. So I, th I guess I'm just going to end it off here, guys. This has been a fairly short one, I guess, but it's useful. Uh, both these concepts are not very widely used. But it's good to know, just in case you do see this anywhere, and you're like, what does this mean? Uh, but in general, I would avoid putting too many uh, <laughs> expressions on a single line. It becomes very confusing. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when we will go over compound assignment operators and the increase or decrease operators. See you then.